we have to talk about a tough subject today. So to get started, picture yourself, if you will, in a sterile room. The same sterile room as dozens of times before. Your feet swing and bounce against the metal siding of the table beneath you. Ammonia saturates the air, and a loved one sits next to you. A gentle knock means the doctor is back. He enters and closes the door. The paper, rust the paper rustles underneath you as you shift your weight nervously. He smiles. It's gone, he says. This is the moment I wish pancreatic cancer patients could have. I wish they would have the opportunity to go to the marriages of their children, to attend the birthday parties of their grandchildren. But this is not yet a reality, because the vast majority of them will die within one year, and 94% of them will die within five years. 94%. Two major hurdles stand between pancreatic cancer patients and such a joyous moment. One is that the tumor is located underneath skin and fat and muscle and organ, making it difficult to take an image of a tumor within it. The second is that a pancreatic tumor can spread to other parts of the body before it reaches even one centimeter in diameter. And once it's spread to other parts of the body, it's too late to cure that person. Because of these two challenges, current imaging technologies cannot yet detect a tumor within the pancreas while it is still treatable. I am working to pursue a clever way to discover these tumors before it's too late. Just as you know that a spider web means that a spider is nearby, a pancreatic tumor is surrounded by a web of tumor support cells. And since these cells are 10 to 100 times more numerous than the tumor cells themselves, it becomes possible to detect a tumor even when it is very, very small and even when it is hidden underneath skin and fat and muscle and organ. It is the goal of my thesis to discover a way to detect these tumor support cells. Now these tumor support cells look a lot like normal cells in the pancreas, but we can distinguish them by their proteins. A protein acts like a lock on the outside of a cell that sends a signal once the proper key is inserted. In order to discover what protein locks are on the outside of these tumor support cells, I am exposing the tumor support cells and normal cells in the pancreas to over a billion keys. The keys that fit only the tumor support cells can then be used to detect them. And once we know that the tumor support cells are there, we know that there is a tumor. So now the question becomes, can I use these keys to detect a tumor before it develops? Can we detect cancer before it is actually cancer? I think we can. Thank you.